Hello everybody, this is Rob Swatsky from the York. Hello everybody, this is Rob Swatsky from the York campus of Hack. And in this podcast, I'll be reviewing the conduction system of the heart. A small group of specialized cardiac muscle fibers called autorhythmic fibers are self-excitable, which means they're able to generate their own spontaneous action potentials that cause the heart to beat. They are the network of specialized fibers that produce action potentials that lead to the heart's contraction. The autorhythmic fibers account for the involuntary nature of the cardiac muscle contraction, allowing it to contract without conscious control or input from the brain. There are two main functions of the autorhythmic fibers. They serve as the heart's pacemaker, establishing the rhythm of the heartbeat that contracts the heart. They also form the cardiac conduction system, an internal network of specialized interlinked autorhythmic fibers that propagates the action potentials in a timed and organized way to coordinate the contraction of the heart's chambers to make the heart work efficiently as a pump. The conduction system propagates cardiac action potentials in the following sequence. The sinoatrial, or SA node, also called the pacemaker, is the start of cardiac excitation. Think of it as a spark plug that gets the heartbeat started. The SA node is located in the upper wall of the right atrium, near the opening of the superior vena cava. The cluster of SA node cells have an unstable resting potential called the pacemaker potential. This is shown on the graph by the green line. They can spontaneously depolarize to threshold, shown by the dotted line, which quickly initiates an action potential that propagates through both the right and left atria, leading to simultaneous contraction of both atria. The SA node serves to set the heart's contraction rhythm, acting as the natural pacemaker. Another analogy for the conduction system is like a series of dominoes. When you knock over the first domino, all the others will fall over. So think of the SA node as the first domino in the series that is knocked over and will trigger the knocking over of the remaining dominoes, which are the remaining components of the conduction system. Next, the action potential reaches the atrioventricular node, also called simply the AV node. The AV node is found in the interatrial septum, which is the partition between the right and left atrium. The action potential slows when it reaches the AV node due to variation in the cell structure of the fibers in the node. The slower speed of the action potential is important at this time in that it gives some extra time for the atria to finish pumping blood into the ventricles and for the ventricles to fill with blood. The action potential next moves into the atrioventricular or AV bundle, also called the bundle of his, where his refers to tissue like histology. The AV bundle is located at the top of the interventricular septum which is the partition between both the right and left ventricles. The action potentials are conducted from the atria to the ventricles only through the AV bundle. Next, the action potential now enters both the right and left bundle branches, which are passing down through the interventricular septum towards the apex of the heart. The final step of the conduction system are the Purkinje fibers. 
These are large diameter fibers that are quickly sending the action potential up from the apex toward the rest of the ventricular wall. The ventricles are now filled with blood and are now allowed to contract, pumping blood up to the semilunar valves. The heart is contracting from the apex of the ventricles up towards the semilunar valves. Think of squeezing toothpaste from the bottom of the tube to push the toothpaste up and out of the opening. That's an analogy that's equivalent to what the ventricles are doing here, pumping blood up and out through the semilunar valves into the arteries. It's important to note that both the autonomic nervous system, also abbreviated the ANS, and endocrine hormones, such as epinephrine, are able to adjust the strength and timing of the heartbeat. They can speed it up, they can slow it down, and they can also make the force of contraction stronger or weaker. But a very important point is that they cannot establish the fundamental rhythm of the heartbeat. This originates exclusively from the SA node. 